The 8-speed automatic remap for this amped-up application is an eager accomplice. Few paddle-shifted cars compel us to use their paddles, but the RS7 is a different beast, it's highly satisfying to have this excellent drivetrain at your direct command. The transmission shifts instantly when you thwack the appropriate paddle, and the engine roars like a wild animal, fierce and alive. Upshifts just mean more velocity piling onto the speedometer, all the way up to a stated top speed of 190 mph. Downshifts are just as scintillating, the needle flinging up the tatch and the exhaust burbling viciously. The RS7 performance comes standard with the sport exhaust that's optional on the 560 HP RS7. That less powerful RS7 will continue to be available, and Audi of America execs figure the sales split will be 50 50 -ths. The $20, 100, dearer RS7 performance is actually a good deal, since it comes with carbon ceramic brakes that aren't available on the base car, as well as some tasteful aesthetic upgrades and the delectable engine alterations. One note, as is sort of a trend of late witness Dodge's two-key strategy for its Hellcat products the RS7 doesn't allow its full fury to be accessed right away. One must be in dynamic mode and slash or have the transmission in the manual or sport positions in order to dip into the full 605 horses. Doing so also makes the throttle tip in pretty touchy, so you might want to keep it in the 560 HP mode if, say, you're shuttling your in-laws home from dinner. The performance also gets Dynamic Ride Control Suspension, DRC, which is part of the $3,500 dynamic package on the regular RS7 and trades out that car's air suspension for sportier steel springs. The DRC dampers are connected diagonally across the car with hydraulic fluid, notably improving attack angles during cornering. The RS7 is the only current Audi with DRC, although we previously experienced it in the RS4, RS5, and RS6.